Um, that was Usher. A nation uh, is often defined in terms of greatness by the people, the, 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 the people who are the most in need and how it provides for them, how it protects them, how it looks out for them. I contend that a nation is only as great as the problems it can solve. It's not just your military might or your money or your ability to educate. It is your ability to deal with problems that a lot of nations could not. I contend that America has fallen so far behind that to call it a superpower in anything but militarily is lunacy. Our, our, our people are less educated. They die uh, sooner. Um, our water is getting dirtier because we are a nation full of big problems governed by small minds. Uh, people right now, our nation is being plagued uh, with uh, a gun violence. Uh, in California, just California today, eight people were slaughtered at work. And the day before yesterday, Texas, our second largest uh, state, decided it would make it even, even easier to get guns. We are only as great as the problems we can solve. We have people that are slaughtered in the streets every day. Uh, no one being bought to account for it. All kinds of weapons unfettered on our streets and no one able to do or willing to do anything about it. A nation is only as great as the problems it is able to solve. We can send a man to the moon and we once bragged about that. Now we can't stop someone from shooting at it. We were plagued harder than we needed to be and more violently than we needed to be by a pandemic. And we could not solve that problem because people couldn't make take the basic steps of wearing cloth over their face or staying far apart from each other and not doing things to stoke uh, the, the, the virus. Even now, they have people who are deciding to act like petulant children rather than serious adults in leadership positions. Right now, our infrastructure is crumbling around us. Every time it's too cold, we lose power. It's too hot, we lose power. Something happens, we have dirty water. A nation is only as great as its ability to solve its problems. We are a nation governed by small minds with big problems, and we continue to perpetuate it and do things about it. What good is giving an angry drunken, drug-addicted nation, unemployed nation, more guns. How does that help anybody? What what good is the our inability with all our wealth, we don't even have the ability to fix our crumbling infrastructure. If it gets cold in Texas, they're out of water, boiling water and basically a third world country for weeks and other parts of the South. If it gets uh, if it gets too hot of the place, we have fires everywhere. Then our, our water system's compromised and we are, we are failed. Our gas systems can be compromised. They're making gas. We're a nation full of big problems governed by small minds. And it's the idea of our freedom that impedes it in many ways. You, I can't, I don't need to wear a mask. I have freedom. I can carry this gun. I have freedom. I don't, I don't need to do this. I have freedom. That freedom shouldn't cost people lives and health, but it does because we're a nation of big problems governed by small minds. We have decided to err on the side of, 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 of small. We've just, we can't damn going big and thinking outside the box. We've decided to live there. Every time you turn around, there's some preventable thing that we could mitigate or even cut out. We do not. A nation can only be great as the thing it accomplishes. We used to lead the world in technology, in manufacturing, in sending men to, men to the moon. In education, at one point, the United States of America could educate more people, large numbers of people than any other country in the world. Can it say that now? The, a nation's primary responsibility is to protect its citizenry to the best of its ability, and it cannot or will not do that. It has decided to truck in mediocrity and to be happy in it. It has decided it would rather have some congressman deride, uh, say dumb things or, 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 or molest children or propose dumb laws that don't do anything rather than to deal with the serious matters at hand. How great can you be when the refusal to wear a piece of cloth over your faith kills thousands and hundreds of thousands of your citizens? How great can you be with your refusal to do, do a problem, not only do something about a problem, but exacerbate it by throwing more fuel on the fire? How great can you be when you watch your citizens die by the scores and turn a, a blind eye and pretend like nothing's wrong? And you continue to make the same mistakes. How great can you be when you say you're united, but you're anything but? 
If I live in this region, I do this. If I live in this region, I believe that. At a certain point, the only obligation this station has is to educate and protect its people to the best of its ability. And it can't even do that. We're a nation with way too many problems and way too many small prob uh, people, sm way too many small minds that are in charge of them. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It is the D.L. Hughley Show.